my name is Soph and welcome back to my channel. I am due to be starting a degree in Physical and Natural Sciences at the University of Cambridge in a couple of weeks. Um, however, on my UCAS form, I only applied for Natural Sciences at Cambridge. So, whilst a couple of other unis do offer Natural Sciences as a course, I think the Cambridge course is still unique um, because it was the only course I could find where the depth was the same as doing just like a straight physics degree, for example. Um, whereas others only took the core modules of the different sciences and then made you do those. Um, and I really wanted to be able to pick my optional modules as well. Um, and Cambridge was the only one that really facilitated that. Um, as it would have been facilitated if you'd done just like a straight physics degree. Um, so yeah, I wanted a full physics degree that was accredited by the Institute of Physics, which the Cambridge course is. Um, and I also love chemistry and maths, so I wanted to try and find courses that allowed me to do as much of that as possible without compromising on the depth of physics I was getting. Um, and that's where a lot of other NAPSCI courses kind of had their downsides because in order to fit in the extra maths and chemistry, they often took away some of the physics modules. So you weren't getting quite a full physics degree. Um, you were just getting this kind of broader science degree. Um, so yeah, I applied for natural sciences at Cambridge and physics or theoretical physics at all of my others because theoretical physics took away the labs and increased the workload slightly to accommodate the extra maths. Um, so that was the best compromise that I could find in terms of other courses. Um, so in terms of the actual Cambridge degree structure, so my current plan, although this might change, is that in first year I am going to take Maths B, Physics, Chemistry and Material Sciences, um, so very broad. And then in second year you begin to specialise, so assuming my plans don't change, um, I'm thinking of taking Maths, Physics A and Physics B and then in third and fourth year if I did stay for a Masters I'm planning on doing either Physics or Astrophysics. So by the end you are doing basically a Physics degree but you get to start off with a little bit of extra stuff which not only allows you the opportunity to change to one of those subjects if you decide that at degree level actually physics or for example isn't for you you can do that but also I think given that at the moment I want to go into research after I finished my degree I think that having a bit of background knowledge in some of the related sciences um, would be really beneficial because it's not in nature it's not like a split line between this is physics this is chemistry this is biology this is whatever other science they're all kind of blurred and a lot of research, particularly at the moment, is really going into where they are blurred um, and it's really pulling many disciplines together. So I felt that having this little bit of extra background knowledge would just help me in that and perhaps make my application for jobs more competitive. Um, as well as the fact that I do really like science more broadly. Um, so I get to kind of fulfil that as well. Um, so for the other NATSCI courses I did look at, I did look at them at loads of different unis. I looked at UCL, I looked at Durham, I looked at Lancaster, um, I can't remember where else I looked, but I did look at quite a few. Um, and in many of them, whilst I could take physics, um, like a lot of physics modules, um, I'd often be forced to take a module that either I didn't particularly like or I'd be forced to kind of split between biology and physics. So basically be doing like, almost like a joint honours in the two. Um, I mean, I do get the feeling that natural sciences degrees are a little bit more tailored to the biological sciences as opposed to the physical sciences. Um, I know when I say to a lot of people, oh, I'm going to study natural sciences, they assume that I mean biology. Um, I think that is because we have this perception that natural nature, like biology, 
where technically that's not true, that is completely not the definition of a natural science. Um, but at the same time, I do feel like perhaps the courses are slightly more tailored to biological sciences. Um, I mean, I know the Cambridge degree, if you were a bionatsky, you can do just biology from the beginning. I mean, you do also have to take a maths for biology course, but you can do evolution and behaviour, physiology of organisms and biology of cells, which are all biology options. Whereas for Fisnatskis, like the most Fisnatsky option you can do is what I'm planning to do. Um, I mean, there's also Earth Sciences, which is classed as a physical natural science. Um, and there used to be computer science, but they removed that for my year. So last year was the last year that got to do that. Um, so I do feel like perhaps they are slightly more catered towards biological natural sciences. So if you are looking to do biology, then actually maybe natural sciences would be the degree for you. But for me, as a physical natural scientist, I felt like the Cambridge degree was the only Natsuki degree that fulfilled my personal criteria. So that's why I only applied for Natsuki at Cambridge and then everywhere else I applied for physics or theoretical physics. Um, so hopefully that answers your question. Um, if you're in a similar position and you don't really know what to apply for, then hopefully this helped you. Um, thank you for watching and make sure to like and subscribe for more similar content.